Now in this part of the question then, we're asked to show that the x-coordinates at the point of intersection are given by this equation here, x being multiplied with x squared minus 8x plus 4 equaling 0. So to do this, what we should know is that when two graphs intersect, okay, let's say they intersect at this point here, then their y values are going to be exactly the same. So all we need to say is that at the point of intersection, this should equal this. We equate the two curves together. So let's just put an introduction here. At the point, or points, because there's going to be more than one in this particular example, we'll say points. At the points of intersection, all right, what we're going to do is equate the equations together. So in other words, we'll say that x multiplied by 4 minus x has got to equal x squared multiplied by 7 minus x. OK? Now, to head towards this, I've clearly got to expand both sides. So if we do that, we've got, therefore, 4x minus x squared and that's going to equal x squared times 7, so that's 7x squared, and x squared times minus x is going to be minus x cubed. Noticing that I've got x times x squared here is plus x cubed, I'm going to add x cubed to both sides and also subtract 7x squared from both sides. So if I do that, I'm going to get x cubed minus 7x squared and then plus 4x minus x squared, and that's going to equal 0. So if we group up the x squared terms, we've got x cubed, and now minus 7x squared minus another x squared is minus 8x squared, and then plus that 4x, and that equals 0. And you can see this is starting to look like this. All I've got to do is notice that x is a common factor. It's in each of the three terms. So if I factorise it by pulling out x, I've got x squared minus 8x plus 4, and that equals 0. That's what we had to show. All right?